suppose we have two positive numbers, a and b, and we know that the sum of one number and the square of the other is 6. And we have to find the greatest possible value of their product. All right. The relationship between a and b is often called a constraint, and it is the equation that we can use to get rid of one unknown by expressing it in terms of the other. And this is always an important choice. Sometimes when you hit a wall in an optimization problem, just go back and try the other variable. In this case, it's a very easy choice because if we solve for b, we're going to be stuck with radical. So let's solve for a. a is 6 minus b squared. And then the product of the two, AB, is now 6 minus B squared. That's A times B. That's, that's AB. So this now is a function in B, which is negative B cubed plus 6B. Now, just because we're learning calculus, let's not forget what we learned in pre-calculus. We know what an upside-down cubic looks like, right? Generally, it looks like this. And if we factor it, and this is factorable, Let's factor out minus b, then we have b squared minus 6. So we can factor this via the difference of squares theorem, and then we, we know that there are three zeros, and they are symmetrical. So in this particular case, here is 0, it is negative square root of 6, and here is square root of 6. This is the product in terms of b. So when the product is negative, for sure not both numbers are positive. So our domain is really just between 0 and square root of 6. Because if we go to the to the left, then then b is negative. If we go to the right, b is too big, so a is negative. So our domain is really just the open interval 0 square root of 6. And on this domain, the one relative maximum we're going to find is an absolute maximum. So that's, that's good to know walking into the problem. Okay, so let us differentiate the product function. Now we use this one for that, negative 3b squared plus 6. Now, this is an upside-down parabola. We know what those look like. I'm going to factor at minus 3, so we get b squared minus 2. Now, the derivative is an upside-down parabola with zeros at square root of 2 and negative square root of 2. This upside-down parabola has two zeros, but the first one, not only is it outside of the domain, but also is the wrong kind of, it's a minimum, right? Because the derivative changes sign from negative to positive, that's a minimum, but the other one at plus square root of 2, we observe the right change of sign, the one that's associated with the maximum, right? The derivative is going from positive to negative, which means the function is going from increasing to decreasing. That's a maximum. So we think that the, the maximum is at not x, but b equals square root of 2. Now that we feel we know everything, we should read the problem again, because sometimes they ask for weird stuff. For example, now they're not asking for the two numbers, but asking for that maximum value of the product. For that, we already have expressions for the product. I like this one because, because of b squared there, right? So the product function evaluated at square root of 2 is negative square root of 2 times b squared. That's just 2 minus 6. And so we get negative square root of 2 times negative 4. That's always a good sign when we get a positive product of two positive numbers. The greatest possible value in this product is 4 times radical 2. Thank you for watching.